Good morning, brothers and sisters, wherever you are, the peace of Jesus Christ be with you. Today we'll start with lesson 12, uh, the feminine. Let's start with it. First, we'll start as usual with uh, a verse from the Bible. As you see, I try to write it uh, individually, every word by itself. Uh, because I can't uh, film different one, a different one. I can't write it by my by hand, but I rewrite it. You know, I wrote it separately, like every letter by itself. Let's read it. فإن مصارعتنا ليست مع دم ولحم بل مع رؤساء السلاطين مع ولاة العالم على ظلمة هذا الدهر. مع إجناد الشر الروحية في السماويات. Normally we you hear سماء سماء. So in here it's سماويات. It's different. Little bit in here. Because your fight has uh, because your fight has not been with flesh and blood, but with participities and the rulers. And the power of this of this dark world, and with wicked spirits, which are under heavens, heaven or somewhere ha heaven could be heaven or heavens actually. Uh, and here I put it uh, in separately. فإن في ألف نون فإن as you see there is Hamzi under to make it Fa'ina Musara'atana Meem Saad Alif Re Ain Te Noon Alif You can see it, you can do it like that or not make it uh, very long uh, You can see it, you can stop it uh, or take screenshot and try to write it, yes? Let's continue in the last lesson, uh, we took some, you know, how to make uh, uh, a question. How to how to phrase a question. How to make a question. And by making question, we have to make to add something called a hell. Yes, to make to to add at the beginning. Like like in English, when, what, all these kind of things. And here you add something called the hell or a. Uh, a, uh, yeah. Yeah. So you add this a uh, to add to the word you are using at the beginning. So, so you add it. Uh, so you add it to 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 the word at the beginning of the word to make to to phrase. Uh, to the to the thing. هل هو غني؟ هل هو غني؟ هل هو غني؟ Is he rich? هل الولد غائب؟ هل الولد غائب؟ There is in here همزة وصل. So هل الولد غائب؟ You see in here <coughs> the the liaison. Yeah, I put liaison because it's. I, I don't have uh, Hamza Twassel. I don't have the Hamza Twassel as I showed you last time. On the computer, nobody, uh, you can't have it. Uh, no, none of the computer's uh, programs add it. Yeah? So you, you add it like that. It is like that. Uh, I wrote it for you last time, so you can go back to the last lesson and you see it. So it's an alif and on top of it, Hamza Twassel. Uh, so uh, so this this alif it could be uh, just so they come after after each other uh, so you can form it uh, without hell so by by changing your voice so you, by saying just by that like saying saying, saying that هل الولد غائب or الولد غائب so you change your voice by, by saying that yes uh, 
لكن هي السفر طويل you see the alif and you make the question السفر طويل so you are forming a question we took uh, as well some some words to learn <coughs> sorry sorry guys uh, we took some words like نعم mean yes نعم three as عين I'm, we are using it as instead of عين نعم yes أجل as well mean yes but it's, we use نعم in speaking way more than أجل أجل is used more like in, in literal way yes كلا لا now in speaking way we say لا <laughs> كلا same like لا we say لا and when you speak but uh, but normally uh, in writing we write more كلا or لا yes قديم قديم قديمون سوري it's an old thing uh, not an old man or old woman it's an old old thing جديد new قصير short طويل طول it could be used on uh, a human too short and tall yeah uh, ثانية near I'm using for the timing yeah ثانية دقيقة ثانية is a second دقيقة a minute أسبوع a week uh, we say أسبوع or we can say in Arabic as well more used uh, it's a uh, it's like a like a day of the week we we call it in a different way but it's called like a day of a week it's it's a day juma but when you say juma juma is a full week for as well we can use this word as juma full week but we'll take it next time uh shahr month sana year karan century saif summer saif summer kharif autumn shita winter rabia spring let's move to the lesson 12 actually the feminine in general the feminine is formed from the masculine so basically by adding the suffixing yeah t yeah Tighty, uh, or as it's known, t marbuta. You saw it because it's about like that, and and there is two dots on it. It's like hey, we took it previously. Hey, there is the turn like the about t, not not the, like this. It's well, it's like at the end of the word as well, uh, hey, but there is two dots on top of it. Yes, and. Uh, we add it uh, when it's linked to uh, genitive it's it must uh, it must always be pronounced as t tamarbuta and it it follow the vowel uh, case ending yeah it so it has to be at the end are not pronounced as uh, at the end at the end so when it's it's following the vowel, sometimes you don't pronounce it as as a t. Uh, at the sentence or a complete clause, yeah. In a modern spoken Arabic, it only has a t value when it is immediately followed by a noun or pronoun. In the genitive example, huwa katibun. He is a writer. Huwa Katibun. So we add the T on to, uh, at the end of it. Hiya katiba tun. Hiya katiba tun. Hiya. So instead of 
هو وبوتيه ان هي تول بي هي هي كاتبة and we put so the we remove the wow on بوتيه and we add a t at the end هي كاتبة she is a writer same thing in here هو مدرس مدرس so we add we remove the wow put ye and it will be here and we add t about t yeah t marbuta and it will be here mudarrisatun she is a teacher same thing in here huwa tabakhun he's a cook huwa tabakhun 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 yeah he is a cook هي طباخة هي طباخة هي طباخة she is a cook هي هي she طباخة as you see we don't have she is yeah we don't have she is blah 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 she is a cook in Arabic we have two things هي and طباخة we don't have the is so the is it's like as it is in, inside those two words we don't add to it is like she is we don't have like it's like one word like here yes she is a cook the feminine ending t uh, so uh, atun atun that uh, the atun it's because there is a two you know the double uh, dummy uh, occur in many word which have no, no masculine form as well example Medina a city Nahla a bee Mahkama a court low court it is okay occasionally although rarely found in a word which are masculine example Alamatun Alamatun is for masculine but it's uh, uh, in here you see a la maton a seventh a la maton or khalifaton so basically you can't have khalifaton uh, feminine feminine because they won't allow him allow her to be <laughs> they, they don't want successor to be a female if a successor anyway so it will be only title for uh, a female you know caliph uh, male sorry male caliph there, there will be never a female caliph so it's a it's a title never like like uh, like uh, as you are saying it's a mechanic or something like that in or a doctor and uh, you you can't say doctor female doctor you have to mention that female doctor but otherwise the title is for uh, both but in here you will never find uh, this caliph let's say you can't find it is you know it's a masculine title but it could be used for both but you never have it in, in the Arab, Arabic word a female caliph anyway these two letters are uh, intensive forms of uh, the active participle other feminine Ending are Alif Masura A and A U like Alif with Hamzi and uh, and on top of it there is Dhammi so uh, so basically uh, when a singular suffix to the last radical uh, radical of the form uh, of the word both of these are without nonation example zikra zikra remembrance sovereign remembrance or sovereign zikra so basically this is a female and this uh, alif making it female yes so uh, sahra on sahra on a desert sahra on uh, the a uh, in here formed by two yeah by the letter two 
but Sahra on you can write it this in this way like and the uh, some Arabic people write it like that or with the two the two is the easiest way to write it's a desert the following classes uh, <clears throat> the following classes of uh, of words are feminine uh, without requiring the distinct distinctive feminine ending all all words f first all word and proper names which are by their nature feminine example arusun arusun a bride ummun a mother or ukhtun a sister and as you see there is neither of these letter i mentioned previously tamar buta or uh, those two things in here alif ma'sura or alif and hamzi after it yeah can only be applied to such uh, like hamilun pregnant hamilun pregnant yeah murda'un murda'un it look like uh, um, masculine yeah but uh, it's a feminine there is no more down it look like a masculine uh, word but it is female for a female uh, second to most uh, most do not all names of the country are in the cities example masron masru masru egypt uh, Masru in Arabic, it's Egypt in uh, in English for some reason. For some reason, it's called Egypt, but it's Mas Masru in Arabic. Yeah, Faransa, France. Yeah, Faransa. They are all female uh, names, uh, apart from some. Uh, some male uh, countries like uh, uh, Lebanon or United States, you, uh, um, America, or you can call uh, some other, some other, uh, you know, it is a similar thing in English as well. Note uh, to that such a proper names which have no definite article have also no nonation. As you see, there is no double uh that double thing like here no nation yeah so it's only the simple one three most though all uh, not all as well yeah parts of the body which occur in pairs so like uh for example for like like eyes yeah i non one eye i non an eye so basically those they will have the nonation but uh know it's a female yadon a hand yes so uh, it apply on it a two uh, but i thought it should which i should mention it to you to to know it for if you, if, if you need it for a future uh, use yeah a number of words which are feminine uh by use like rihon rihon a wind harbun a war yes and that's it that's it for it uh, you can go back to it uh, or stop it take a screenshot and i will write it uh, on the word uh, as usual yeah i will try to rewrite them on the word uh, sheet you can find them on, in the link yes so uh sorry it was a quick lesson but i'm trying to uh, go for it as much as i can because this uh <laughs> i'm trying to uh record record uh, early morning uh, as soon as i woke up uh, to be able to record uh, because i prepared this lesson a long time ago and i'm not able to uh, put it on let's go forward i i meant to show you this saint the saint is called Saint Ahmed, the new martyr. He is Saint uh, Saint Ahmed. You can find him on this link of mine of mine in uh, on my Facebook. Yes, I will I'll put the link in the uh, in the box too. Yeah, uh, Saint Ahmed. He was uh, he was uh, martyred uh, in 1682. Yeah, on the on the third week. 
uh, we with all the details you can read all the details about him why why i meant i meant to show you i want to show you that uh, to show you that islam uh, they were converted to christianity from that time and his his origin is turkish he he, he owned a christian slave and because of that slave he became a, a christian too yes please read it and uh, and you love the, the story yes thank you brothers and sisters Jesus be with you and your families please follow me and on my channels other channels I have three other channels because I, uh, I received few more strikes I think uh, if I have one more strike they block my, my channel so please uh, follow me on my other channels otherwise i will be, i will be losing you all uh, dear brothers and sisters yes please follow me on my other channels and uh, god be with you and protect you bye <laughs>